Notice the cusp tips both flare towards the mesial. I like to mark the highest point of the cusp tip and bring the line down to the gums of the typodont to mark exactly where the cusp tips are. I also mark the points of contact on the adjacent teeth. Notice that the prep tooth already resembles the original tooth. The coping should be an even layer of wax coating the prep tooth. I begin the coping by following the margins of the prep. This will ensure that I have a clean margin. By following the prep, you can build and maintain the anatomy of the tooth number four. Use the PKT1 to build the marginal ridge. Over bulk the contact to help draw the diamond shape. It is better to have heavy contact and shave it away than to have no contact and fail. Be mindful of where the cusp should be placed when building the tooth. You can do this by following the line that you drew earlier. Clean up the bulky interproximal margins with a carver. I like to use the IPC from the operative kit. I use light strokes with the IPC slanted at about a 45 degree angle to create the slanted interproximal slope. When you place the tooth back into the typodont, you can see where the margins are over bulk. This is good because the indentions will tell you exactly where the contact is. Now all you need to do is shave up to the contact and create a smooth and proximal. Remember that number four is a diamond shape. You can use any kind of carver to shape the wax. I will be using my personal favorite, the IPC. Start at the highest point, which is your custom, and shave downward toward the adjacent teeth to help create the diamond-shaped facial. You can use the adjacent or contralateral premolar as a visual reminder that you should make the tooth sharp and not flat or rounded when carving. Remember that the mesial facial line angle is shorter than a distal because it flares more towards the mesial. I like to add a line of wax in the middle to help create a 3D diamond effect. Then I use a hot PKT to smooth out the wax. Make sure that the facial is not sticking out further than tooth number five by using a flat instrument to measure. Notice how the lingual is very round and constricted at the base. It should not protrude out further than tooth number five. I place the IPC on the gum line of the typodont to help create the roundness of the lingual and to achieve the correct width. I now notice that my marginal ridges are still too high, so I use carver number three to bring down the marginal ridges and create a fossa at the same time. This will also help shape the cusp tip and create a diamond shape. Look at the contralateral and note the two triangles that make up the occlusal fossa and the raised ridges that connect the buccal and lingual cusp tips. Remember when drawing or shaping the occlusal, the mesial side is shorter than the distal side. This creates the illusion that the tooth is flared towards the mesial. I 
I use the carver number three, the spade side, to draw in the two triangles. The point of the spade side will create the fossa. I use the IPC to refine and burnish the grooves and fossa that I created with the carver three. Use a hot PKT tube to melt the excess wax and draw in the additional grooves slash triangles. And now use the IPC and Carver 3 to smooth out and refine the grooves. Make sure the occlusal ridge is still pronounced and protruding out. Check the width of the occlusal and points of contact. To polish the occlusal, use a Q-tip soaked in soap and water and rub it into the occlusal. Then use a clean, dry Q-tip and wipe away the excess soap and water. Lightly polish with the stocking. Make sure not to polish away the points of contact. You can avoid this by only polishing under the contact. Make sure to angle the stocking when polishing to not lose any of the angles you created. I then use silk to polish it even more. Again, I use a Carver 3 and a hot PKT to refine the occlusal even more. Notice how the contact is in the right place. The occlusal is well defined and polished, the cut tip is defined and in the right place, and notice how defined the diamond shape is.